What is up guys? I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Sergeant Zach is heading over to my house right now. I have no idea what we're going to get into tonight, but I know that we want to go do something. It's Friday night. He's coming back in town from his base. Uh, there's two Subarus involved. We got to do something fun tonight, right? What's up, cute yo puppy? What's up, yo puppy? Oh, say hi. Say hi to the viewers. So I'm just about ready to get tuned soon. Um, I'm hoping I can get tuned next month. I just gotta collect a few more parts, and then it's gonna be go time to put the car on the dyno. You guys have no, ex no idea how excited I am. I feel like I've been waiting forever to get this thing on the dyno, and I can't believe that it's gonna be finally a reality. Like, I feel like it's just been such a long process of figuring out what I wanted to do, and then I just, I look at this thing, and it's, it's just crazy that this is a reality. Currently waiting for Sergeant Zach. We're gonna go grab some food nearby and then hopefully get into something. My other buddy Steven is coming in from San Diego too with the SDI hatchback. I don't know if we're gonna go do something or not. I know Steven wanted to change his oil, but um, I'm not too sure if we're uh, all gonna go do something or what. I really wanna do something fun tonight, but who knows, it might be a mellow night of eating food and Sergeant's here. Sergeant Mayra. This fool's always revving in front of my house. You guys notice that? Zach recently put on his old shifter from the S2000. Look how ridiculous he set up. He's got the sleeper set up, can't even see his access port. But he's got the, the set up, the vlog for you guys. He's all set up. Yeah, look at how stiff this thing is. And then nah. I, can, I can face it forward when I have fucking like track moves and shit. Face it forward. Zach always stays energized while on the road. You can guess what kind of fan he is, guys. <laughs> Actually, they didn't have any Red Bulls, so I had to plug in a bullet. Zach always being the best Uber. Gosh, I'm about to kill someone. So, if you guys don't know already, Zach commutes like three hours to come back down to Cal, well, back to SoCal, because he's in the middle of nowhere at his base. And he just drove four hours of traffic. Now he's gonna be the real MVP and drive us to go get pizza and food. And Sammy's gonna feel better with the help of burritos. Okay, the help of Starbucks. I'm gonna drive right hand drive for Zach. Let's do this. Why is my fucking audio being? I'm ready. Cause we start we share jurisdiction with the local community in certain areas. Like outside of our base, as well as with highway patrol. Because technically, I, I'm military police, not civilian. See what I see? I'd be an Evo! Zach, what do you think life would have been like if I got the Evo? I think you would not, not be talking about being an Evo anymore. <laughs> That's what life would be like. <laughs> that is very accurate. You probably wouldn't be bitching. You guys don't understand. One day, one day you'll see an Evo on the channel. And Zach will change my oil on the Evo. He loves Mitsubishis. That's easy. It's like changing oil on a Honda. Zach just called the Evo a fancier Honda. Well, it's a turbo. not a fancier Honda. It's just a Honda with turbo and v it's, just, it's a Honda that's a different brand. Yeah. I don't know. You're going to make some people mad, fool. I'm just Zach just said he'd get a Civic over an Evo. What do you guys think about that? Comment your thoughts below. Lady trying to run us over. Yeah, I get the fucking death stare. Sammy needs to get her Starbucks. She's not feeling good, guys. Please like this video to help her feel better. <laughs> Shut up. She has a strap. So Sammy got her Starbucks. She's gonna be happy. Zach is the best. Uber. Hey, Zach Uber is upset because he sat in traffic the whole day. Dude. And Sammy hasn't been in the greatest mood either. Hey, I'm probably the only I one happy. A, I'm on a vlog. I'm talking. Fuck you! I saw. No, fuck you! I fuck saw. You. I need to promote I saw, my channel. I'm I trying to promote my channel. We are mobile. Zach is three wheeling it. Best Uber. Wait, are you guys cold? You're cold. Zach is a savage. My girlfriend is always talking shit. Always talking that shit. I have the decency to ask you. You're ridiculous, fool. Just got to the fake Mexican place. Zach's about to get his pizza. Zach keeps setting up the car alarm, being extra right now. 
fake Mexican food. Here I come. At least it's healthy fake Mexican food. Fake. So y'all. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get the slam bumper. I'm trying to talk about my car. All right, so you guys might be asking yourself, what car was Zach gonna trade his Rex in? Well, here, I got a Lexus, and I slammed it on its nuts. And that's why it's about a centimeter off the fucking ground. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Got the Chipotle. Zach's getting the Z Pizza, organic. No non GMO. It is non GMO. Embrace it. Eat your ethanol pizza. Sammy doesn't want to get Chipotle because they made uh, quesadilla for her and they didn't cut it in the slices. And they'd only they used. all cheese. They used like half a scoop of chicken. Yeah, Wait, so. You, you didn't get Chipotle? No, I didn't. No Chipotle, dog. Why didn't you get food? What? You didn't even see what happened. What happened? He's arguing. With who? If you guys want to communicate with me directly, you can add me on Snapchat right here at this food Josh. I love talking to all you guys. Check out my burrito. But see Zach, when life gives you when life gives you lemons, you have a WRX. You see that your wheels turned? Like a little photo advertisement. Let him finish way. Zach is enjoying his pizza after a long day. Of dealing with first world problems. <laughs> you know, yeah, I do, fool. You have all of I was not gonna. Sergeant Zach left my house to go meet his girlfriend at uh, his house. I'm actually gonna go over to my friend Steven's house who came back from San Diego. He's changing his oil right now. He might even done the oil change already. He texted me a while ago. Um, I'll tell you guys what, one of the worst things in my life that I've come across, and I don't know if you guys feel this way, but one of the worst things that I've personally ever dealt with is seeing close friends or family go through really hard times. It, it sucks being to, like to see people go through stuff and feel like you're absolutely not in control. And that's, that's currently what I'm experiencing right now in this moment and I'm trying to share it with you guys. And um, it, it sucks, you know? Like, I mean, everybody has their own way of dealing with it, but being, um, being like lost in, in a sense and feeling hopeless is it's such a weird scenario, but anyway, I don't, I don't want to keep you guys feeling super down or to, to be a Debbie Downer or stuff. I'm just trying to express how I feel. Um, I'm going to go over to Steven's house, uh, check out his dope hatchback STI. Um, the STI hatchbacks are actually one of my favorite. And I'm just going to look at this this uh, whole experience and just remain optimistic about the whole thing. All right, so I just got home from Steven's house. I didn't get any shots of his car because he was doing an oil change and I honestly got pretty sidetracked with talking to him and then this other dude I went to high school with, uh, Francis. And he just got a Tundra, uh, pretty recently, and it's a, a pretty sick Tundra TRD Pro, which there's, um, his specific TRD Pro, there's only 1,500 of them. So I was kind of getting sidetracked looking at his new truck and his dirt bike and stuff. And, um, but anyway, I actually wanted to close up the vlog right here. I'm really sorry that this vlog is really short and there really hasn't been much to it but there's something that I want to say to you guys that means a lot to me and I think that you guys might be able to find something that resonates deeply with you guys which is it's okay to go through life without not having everything planned and what that means is sometimes we want to have so much plan ahead and sometimes we expect to know everything at that moment and it's scared it's scary to maneuver through your life without knowing the definite answer of everything we might do we might just want to have everything figured out and everything made already and it's okay not to have that made. It's okay to take a leap of faith and just go through life and not have a single idea what the hell you're doing and just take, you know, take a chance and just learn from everything. So with that being said guys, I promise to hopefully make the next vlog more exciting and have more time to film. Today was kind of a very random day. I didn't um, expect to vlog today but I, I really wanted to upload some content with you guys and show you guys some a little bit stuff but let this be uh, something that sets the bar a little bit lower for me so that when I do make a better vlog you guys have better expectations of what to expect and hopefully resonate you with that little fun fact I just gave you guys so it's okay not to know everything don't feel discouraged don't put yourself down and I will see you guys on the next vlog